Hi guys, it's Oliver from Elva Ecommerce Accountants. Today I'm going to be talking you through some of the accounting tools that you need to make the accounting for your Shopify or Amazon business as simple as possible. So let's start off by looking at some cloud accounting software. Here at Elva Ecommerce Accountants, we're super excited about Xero because it is by far the best cloud accounting software on the market for e-commerce businesses. It has some really cool features, like for example, bank feeds. It will integrate with your bank account from virtually any bank and pull through all of your transactions straight into Xero. Something else that's really great for e-commerce businesses is that there are apps available for Xero that will sync with your Shopify or Amazon account and pull through all of your sales data straight into Xero. This makes reconciling income a lot easier. Once you're harnessing the power of those two features, the next step is to take it even further by using Xero's reconcile screen. Here, Xero will automatically match your Shopify and Amazon payouts up against money coming into your bank. Think how much time that's going to save you compared to doing that manually. If we go back a second, you'll remember I mentioned earlier that there are some really cool apps that will sync your Shopify site or Amazon seller account to zero. A2X is not just one of those apps, but by far the best app on the marketplace to do this. It will analyze all your order information in Amazon figure out which orders went into each payout, and then amalgamate all of that messy data that Amazon gives you into one invoice for each payout. That invoice will split your payout out between your sales and the various different costs that Amazon deduct, as well as analyzing it out by country so that you can get your VAT reporting spot on. A2X estimates that their customers can save up to 20 hours of manual work every month. So, we've figured out which accounting platform we want to use. We've sorted out the sales side of things. But what about our costs? Well, you probably guessed it already, but we have another amazing app for that. It's called Receipt Bank. Receipt Bank is a data capture tool that you can send all your purchase invoices and receipts to. It will pull out all of the information from your invoices that you'd otherwise have to manually type into Xero. If you're getting your invoices from your suppliers by email, you can have a dedicated receipt bank email address to send your invoices to. You can even set up email auto forwarding rules to make that process even more efficient. When you first start using receipt bank, there is a little bit of a setup process involved because for at least the main suppliers, you'll want to set up some rules in Receipt Bank. That way you can have your invoices consistently published to the same cost codes every time with the right payment terms. Once you're confident that you've got your setup right, you can also turn on Auto Publishing in Receipt Bank, which will mean that your invoices flow straight through into Xero as invoices awaiting payment. Once you've paid them, when you go to the Reconcile screen in Xero, Xero will have auto-matched your invoices to your payments. So, we've now got an accounting platform and we've got our sales and purchases covered. The next important app you're going to need is something to assess your business's performance. That's where Futurally comes in. It provides fully customizable business performance analysis. Some of the things that we often look at for our clients our sales and margins by marketplace, average order values by channel, sales and margins by country, variances in costs, and advertising to sales ratios by marketplace. The possibilities are pretty much endless. As you can imagine, having all of that information available at your fingertips really helps to drive your decision making and maximize the growth of your e-commerce business. So, that's just about everything that I wanted to cover with you today. Please feel to drop any questions or suggestions 
for future videos in the comments. Thanks for watching guys. And remember, if you found this video useful, please subscribe to our channel.